Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. In today's video, I thought it would be interesting to take a look and a listen to the electric pianos in Pianotech. Pianotech, as you probably know, is a software instrument that uses physical modeling to emulate the sounds of acoustic pianos. But they also have some pretty decent electric pianos that sound a lot better than I remember. They have the Rhodes Mark I, Mark II and the Wurlitzer. So we'll take a listen to those today. But before we get stuck into that, I do need to let you know that Pianotech did provide me with a free license. So thank you very much to them for their support. And I did want to let you know about that. So here we have it in a very striking red colored skin, which I like a lot. It's got a bit of a retro vintage vibe to it, but how does it sound? Let me, uh, Play something for you here. We have the basic Mark I patch dialed up here with just a little touch of reverb, but all other effects switched off. I personally dislike it when manufacturers drench their Rhodes sounds in tremolo, chorus, phases, and God knows what effects. I like to hear the pure sound of the Rhodes as it's coming out of the line out, the preamp. And this is how Pianotech sounds then. Here's the Mark I. So a couple of things to note here. Sorry about the playing that was a bit rough. I'm uh, not really warmed up often the way when you start recording a video. Enough excuses, Woody. Yes, the nice thing about a physically modeled instrument compared to a massively sampled instrument is that with physical modeling, you can have very fine changes and nuances in the sound. With a sample library, for example, you might only sample four different velocity layers and there'll be a kind of a switch or a transition in between those four levels of dynamics. But on this one, it's going to respond differently to every 127 note step in the MIDI velocity range. So you get the very soft bell-like tone that I'm hearing here. Or a... The bark style sound as you strike the keys hard on a Rhodes. I mean, the thing is, it's just a very enjoyable way to play the instrument. And then we can get into the tweaking as well. You can fine tune all of the characteristics that are going into the physical model of the instrument. Now, I don't have so many controls here because this is the stage version, the light version, if you will. I don't care. I don't really want to spend too much time tweaking the pianos and there are some very nice presets here as well. So I just really want to play it. Let's try again. You can also hear some really nice uh, sort of action artifacts, the clunking. The release sounds. Can you hear that? Very nice. That's when you dig into it, you can also play it really soft. <laughs> Not sure why I can't play a basic 251 today, but. I, I think this sounds great. Another thing about sample libraries is they might not sample every single note, but they might sample one note for every three or four on the keyboard. So you also get transitions as you 
go up and down the keyboard. This has an interesting control as well. If I jump over here, this one at the bottom I like, which just detunes it and makes the condition of the instrument uh, lower. We can start winding that down. Nothing seems to happen till you get to around the middle. And then it goes really wonky, but we can add just a little bit of funk. Because no, well, what is it? 40 year old Rhodes is in perfect condition these days, unless you buy one of the brand new ones. So this is what they'll tend to sound like, I suppose, if they're in need of a bit of tuning. Not really hearing it there, but if I dial it down a little bit more, somewhere around here. a very nice warm full sound actually and once again the control you have over the dynamics is wonderful. I like the graph also on Piano Tech which shows you the velocities of the incoming MIDI data so you can see if you're a heavy-handed player or a light player and you can also tune the velocity response and calibrate it to your particular style and keyboard as well but I just use the linear and adjust my playing instead. You can see how we can Okay, let's move on to the Mark II or well, perhaps before we do that I will give you a quick tour around the interface. Uh, I'm not sure what order we'll do things in. Let's see. a bit of tremolo on this particular patch. I'll show you around some of the front panel controls. We can actually choose if we want the line output binaural, which is how you might hear it on headphones. We also have, let's see what other options, the room mic. Maybe these depend on which amplifier and speaker simulations you enable as well. We have the line out in stereo or mono, although I think it was just a mono instrument originally, the uh, Rhodes. But if we dive into the controls on the right, we can play around with the action. Now these, remember, I've got the light version here, so I don't have access to all of the parameters. We can just play around with these, see what they do. Maybe not completely appropriate to electric pianos. These seem to be the same controls. The action noise you can hear. This is something you can't really do on a sample library. Adjust the parameters of the instrument. Sustain pedal noise. So you can fiddle around a little bit, but it is quite limited here. Mallet, bounce, just play around with some of these, see what happens to the sound. So there is some capability for tweaking, but really you're going to want the full version. Forget the name of that. If you want to play around with the tweaking of the piano models, we have an EQ, of course. Yeah, nice, uh, see how this works. Yeah, nice parametric EQ. And lots and lots of effects to play around with. We won't get into, go into all of these today, but you can just see the kind of things we have available to us. If I click here, all the various types of tremolos. Yeah, for, uh, flanges, phases, I can't talk right now. Uh, the amp simulations is nice as well. You can see all the different models of amps we can have as well. Yeah, I forgot to mention, but I should do perhaps, is that Piano Tech also includes a, this, this particular expansion anyway, also includes the Pianet electric piano and the Clavinet, I think, as well. But don't take my word for it, check before you buy. I've now switched over to the Mark II Rhodes. Oh, I forget which one is the suitcase, which one is the stage. 
completely different character to this one anyway. Wow, yeah, pretty funky. Let's uh, play something on this one. Again, using a very dry preset, no effects. I want you to hear the sound of the roads, not the sound of the effects. But this does have all of the effects you could possibly want if that's your thing. I prefer the sound of a dry, clean roads. When it's this dynamic, you can't just, you can't help yourself, you can't stop yourself from playing in a very dynamic way, is what I'm finding. like that let's flick through a few presets so you can get a feel for how they sound with some effects and also a lot of the variations piano tech have tweaked the models quite a lot you can change things like the hardness of the hammers the responsiveness of the tines and so on to get really uh, quite radically different styles of roads so i'll just flick through a few presets and you can take a listen to this so I'll just scan through a few presets so you can hear for yourselves the variety that we have available here. The Dino Road sound. Lots of effects there. It's beginning to sound like the Korg and Yamaha Rhodes pianos, if you don't mind me saying. Cinematic Rhodes. Not something we normally associate with Rhodes. Perhaps Gentle Chorus. Very sweet. Yeah, I could play this all day. Soft Chorus. through, do a couple more, punchy chorus, groovy chorus. Yeah, loving, loving the uh, details in the sound again. Through a Leslie, compressed. Find a few gritty ones. That was a gritty one. Amped. Yeah, beautiful. was the Wurlitz, of course. Again, I'm really liking the detail in the sounds as I'm listening on headphones here. The action noises, you can hear the key off noises. Yeah, really interesting. That was a bit of a Ray Charles style blues for you. 
I found a patch with a bit of distortion overdrive. You can see the settings here on the screen. Let's uh, do something else and see how it sounds. Yeah, really liking that. Let's see if we can detune it a little bit for an even funkier effect. Close down that, wind this one down to say halfway, see what happens. It's a bit drastic, this condition slider. Probably gonna get really wacky now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it all happens a little bit too much at a very small spot in the range. So there you go. I did have a lot of fun playing these instruments, especially off camera, and it will be interesting for me to review the audio here as I edit the video. That'll be later. And I do, of course, as always, welcome your comments and look forward to reading them. Until next time, I'll see you then. Cheerio.